Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into animation by creating a camera fly-through of a procedural tunnel using Saturn S-Spline and Unreal Engine Sequencer. First, I'll lay down a simple spline. With the spline created, I'll switch its type to tube mode and adjust the radius to establish the basic tunnel shape. Let's bring in Sequencer. From the top menu, I'll add a level sequence. Inside the Sequencer window, I'll click the camera icon, which creates a new Cine camera actor for our shot. With the camera actor selected, the next step is to attach it to our spline. Under the camera cuts track, I'll add a new path track, and for the binding I'll select our Saturn S spline actor. Just like that, with the camera is locked to the path. With the animation path set, let's refine the tunnel itself. I'll fine-tune the radius and increase the radial divisions for a smoother interior surface. Since our camera will be inside the tube, there are two crucial steps. First, I'll set it to be a closed loop. Second, I must invert the normals so the interior faces are rendered correctly. Now, let's assign a stone wall material to really sell the tunnel effect. Let's look through our camera's lens. I'll pilot the camera and adjust its rotation to ensure it's always looking forward along the path. The real power here is the live, non-destructive workflow. I can go back and tweak the tunnel's shape at any time making it more complex or changing the curves in the camera path updates automatically. Now when I scrub the timeline you can see our camera object flying smoothly through the custom tunnel we just created. This entire setup took just a couple of minutes. That's how you can combine Saturn S-Blind with Sequencer for dynamic camera animations. Thanks for watching.